Hey gang, welcome to Port Barton on the beautiful Philippine island of Palawan. Port Barton was my favorite destination in our Philippines itinerary. In this video, I'll show you why. Port Barton is often described like the little sibling of El Nido, a little less developed and not quite as touristy yet. Just so you know, this video was filmed February 2024. I suspect it could look very, very different in a few years. To get to Port Barton, we landed in Puerto Princesa and then we took a, a minivan. We shared the minivan with other backpackers. By the way, if you happen to be a backpacker, you probably want to book your accommodation a few days early at least. We did meet a few people that didn't book anything and they were struggling to find anything available. To get around, we rented scooters. There are a couple of beautiful waterfalls a few kilometers away from Port Barton. The first one we saw was Panuayan Waterfalls. It's not too far and the road is not too bad to get there. At the time of filming, there was no um, entrance fee, just a donation. You can swim. Although you might not want to do that if you are afraid of snakes. We've seen a few going around. It's hard to show them on camera, but look, there's one there jumping. The infrastructures are not always best yet, like this little bridge. If you're not super comfortable on a moped, you probably don't want to rent one in Port Barton, because at the moment there are no roads. To get to the second waterfall, we had to cross a couple of rivers. I didn't mind it too much, I found it funny. But to be honest, on a rainy day, I probably wouldn't have liked it at all. It could be quite slippery. Again, this could be very different in a couple of years. According to the locals, they might do a road soon. That's Big Owl Falls. Nice spot. But to be honest, not worth the hour and so of riding on a horrible, horrible road with rocks and sand and no tarmac. And on the other side of Port Barton, towards the west, you have a couple of beautiful beaches. Again, at the time of filming, no roads to get there, just a sandy path. We did spot a couple of people falling off their scooters. So if you wanted to stay safe, you can also hire a man on his boat and they can take you there from Port Barton town. So this is Coconut Beach. Very Instagrammable. There's a little entrance fee, it's about 50 pesos. Of course, try not to stay right under the trees. Apparently there are more tourists dying in the Philippines from coconut falling on their heads than in road accidents. You can of course treat yourself to a fresh coconut to drink on the beach, but would you believe the price of the local rum is so cheap that a coconut with rum inside was the same price as a coconut with no rum? Now this is White Beach, another paradise beach a few kilometers further west, after Coconut Beach.
Now, if you wanted to buy yourself a bottle of that wonderful rum, well, you can go to the pharmacy. They have a full selection here. So the rum is brewed in the Philippines. The most popular brand is the Tangay. They also sell a special lime mixer to mix it with. And in the pharmacy, looking for the mixers, on a shelf, you might see a little friend. I love him. He's super cute. But imagine if you came to the pharmacy because you were allergic to cats and you wanted antihistaminics. Well, what do you get? A cat! The price of the rum is so cheap, it is actually dangerous. To give you an idea, for the 75 centiliters bottle, we paid less than 2 US dollars. Let's say that the next morning we were not extremely proud of ourselves. The next morning we went for an island hopping. We did quite a few of those in the Philippines, but I have to say the one in Port Barton was the best. Very well organized. You can buy it anywhere, I think they pretty much all do the same circuit. And there's no need to bargain too much, I think officially they're not allowed to give you a discount. Well, having said that, we did get a discount, but I'm under the impression that the municipality is in charge and they control that everyone sells everything at the same price. The first stop is starfishes. And if you look closely under your feet, you might see starfishes' eggs. If the egg is unbroken, it is because the starfish did not manage to escape. They died. Back on the boat, the staff will start cooking an amazing lunch. You might want to get yourself a waterproof bag before doing those island hopping, because your stuff could get a bit wet on a windy day. And the lunch looked absolutely amazing. It makes you think, how can they do that in such a tiny spot on a boat? But the tourism industry here is well aware that the recent success of Palawan is mainly due to Instagram and social medias in general. So they'll do everything they can to make you take photos and, and selfies and and little YouTube shorts or whatever it might be. It is a very Instagrammable location. Next up, turtles. So you can literally swim with them, if you're lucky, of course. It's never guaranteed. And we were the only boat there at that particular time. In many of the island hopping I did elsewhere in the Philippines, there were many, many boats at the same spot at the same time. You'll see a lot of stray dogs and cats all across town. This funny fruit is the banana blossom. I didn't try it because you've got to cook it, I think. It is getting very popular as a vegan meat substitute, apparently. Anyway, about foods, you'll see a lot of street foods, a lot of barbecues along the streets, and you'll have little tables to enjoy it there. Great seafood for a very affordable price. The street food in general has been amazing all across the Philippines. And one of the local delicacies that I really forced myself to try, especially for video purposes, it is fetus eggs. It's gonna be way too hot. Ah! Dun, 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 so it's, dun, 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 dun. it's basically a fetus, right? So if I wanna, if I have to spit it out, I can spit it, yeah. Oh my god! 
No, it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna survive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, yes. So, vinegar. Oh, vinegar. So, yes. Salt. Oops. Up, yep. Vinegar. <laughs> okay, Thank okay. You. Ah. Okay. Ah. Uh. That was an experience. Hope you enjoyed that little video. If you have any questions about Port Barton, feel free to pop them in the comments. Or if you happen to be a local and you have any advice and tips to give, pop them down there as well. Bye!